This is the oldest sealed terrarium in the world. And this is a brand new one. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make it for free. Except of course, you're gonna need a couple rubber bands, a plastic bag that's not filled with band-aids, and a glass bottle of any shape or size, except it should be big. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing I gotta grab is a jar. This is perfect. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to make a lid for this thing. And it's not as hard as it sounds, so I'll show you how to do it after we get the materials and put them in. Okay, so we have this stump here that is just shedding its bark, and this will be very helpful. We can definitely use that. Wow, look at that in there. We got some like roly pulleys and stuff. This is awesome. Yeah, this will work really well. It also has some moss on it, so we can definitely use this. Yo, check this out. So we cannot put this little guy in our terrarium or anything, but I saw him and I just thought it was so cool. Okay, so here we got some moss right here. And I'm really sorry that I don't know the names of different mosses. I'm not a pro or anything, so forgive me for that. Okay, so we're gonna snag some of this moss with like a rock or something. Just like get it. And we're gonna put it in this plastic bag right here. I think that's good enough. And check it out, I found some perfect rocks. Like these, these are gonna be amazing in there. If they work out. I also found half an acorn, so I'm definitely putting this. Okay, so check out how perfect this thing looks. Look at that, that is a perfect centerpiece. Oh my gosh, look over here. We've got a really nice looking rock. Now, we just have to get the base stuff. Y'all, I didn't even realize. So he found some perfect dirt right here. But oh my gosh. Look at all of these. What in the world? I don't even recognize these things. Okay, so mixed in with our natural dirt, I also grabbed some dirt from some leftover like flower pots that we're not using anymore. So this will be perfect. If you have any, just, just take it from that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a whole bunch of these tiny rocks for our false substrate. Say hi to the dog. Okay, so these rocks I found are gonna be perfect for our false substrate. It's gonna look awesome. Okay, so first I'm gonna wash this thing. So it's just like multiple times, filling it up kind of halfway, and then grabbing it with your palm, or if you have a lid, put it on and shake it. Shake it, and then it'll like just clean itself pretty much. Like, it doesn't need to be too clean, because I mean, we're putting like parasites and bugs and stuff into this, so. Doesn't matter that much. All right, now it's time for the best part, filling up the glass. I took my glass and then I took my false substrate and I just poured it in. Now it's time to make a drainage layer. So usually we'd put some like fence or something in the bottom of there to like strain the water a little bit, but we're just gonna use the plastic bag so you don't have to buy anything. Okay, so you can first start with just cutting off the top of the bag like this. And then cut off two of the sides, just like this. So now you just have something like this, if you can see it very well. It's something like this. So then we're gonna wanna take something the size or a little bit bigger than the bottom of this. So like that size. So I'm gonna use the back or the bottom of this bowl and just take it here and cut around okay okay so anything like this would be perfect if you can see it so next i'm gonna take this all right and i'm just gonna set it in the middle of this here okay so just like this so then i'm gonna take one of these rocks i found and just place it on here so now so now i'm just gonna take this toothpick here so just like a million holes, just as many as you can. I'll show you mine after, but I'm gonna use my other hand to stable it. Okay, so if you can see it, oops, it, I put like a million holes in here. Now, it's not gonna hold up as well as something like mesh or something else, but it will definitely work. Okay, so as you can see, I'm gonna use these tweezers to like get, to like get this inside of the jar and then 
going to straighten it out to where the circle perfectly around. Oh no. All right. All right, I've made a contraption. I've got scissors holding on to these. And that is long enough to spread out this piece of plastic at the bottom of my jaw. Okay, there we go, we got it. So now, we just have to pour our substrate on. It's gonna look great. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm kinda gonna like rip it apart because I don't want it to be in chunks. So you can see, rip it apart and put it in there. Okay, it's going, it's going well. And that's perfect. I'm also gonna put some of this tree bark in there on the top. I'm just gonna kind of throw this. Oh, it in fit. There we go. Throw this in here and just hope for the best. First thing that we're actually putting in here to make it look good is gonna be this stick that I'm now realizing is is it's way too big. So I'm gonna break it. Is that too big now? No. Not for the whole jar, but it is for the cup. Oh, I broke a little much, so I'm just gonna put this in here. So that's gonna be kind of like a centerpiece. I'm gonna build around it. And then I'm also, I might put this one in here too. Just uh, make it just for a little extra pizzazz. Yeah, I'm just gonna have it going the opposite way like this. I think that looks pretty nice, if you can see very well. Then I'm gonna use kind of some of this this mossy um, this mossy bark and put it in front over here. This this um, glass and thing is quite hard to get stuff into because it is um, the, this top is just so small. And then I'm gonna use some of this like it's just extra moss that I found, right? And tuck it in on the side, right? Right in that little like cave looking area. So I'm just gonna take this handful, I'm just kind of drop it in there. Make it look natural, pretty, you know, all that. And after putting one or two more rocks on there, I was ready to So the first thing I'm gonna do on. is spray it with just water. This is a, this is a old spray bottle, but I just filled it with water. And spray down all the sides so that kind of like falls down the side. So it just falls down all the sides and then and then kind of just drips down naturally. Okay, so now I'm gonna take um, a paper towel again and I'm gonna go in and just wipe down all of this all the all the glass so you can see it real nice and easy and so it's all pretty and stuff i'm gonna take this remember this old fella our best friend that we couldn't get into the bottom of the rocks the rest of it and i'm gonna cut it off a little bit of course all right so I'm gonna take this rubber band and just put it around the circle. It, I forgot to say that. You have to cut out a circle with the plastic bag and then just put it over the top and try to get a rubber band around it. But yeah, I got the rubber band on there good and tight. Then I found this old cloth I had and put it on top for just for texture. And I also put a string around it just to keep it tight. And here it is. The final project. Look at that inside there. There's a little bit of pieces on the glass, but it's like beautiful. So yeah, if we check back on this in a month, everything should be growing and there should be like bugs and stuff that we see. So we'll just see how it goes. And always remember, I'm a, just a beginner to this. And even though like my video and my camera quality isn't the best, if I can do it, you can do it. And I hope this helped you out and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.